Hey, hey, Mary here. It's been a while, um, but I wanted to do my three year and six month update or 42 month lock update. Um, and the reason I kind of do my updates like sporadically is because it's nothing to report month to month. And then my channel is not like I do a lot of tutorials or styling. So it's really not a lot to say. So I just come like, oh, I haven't done a video in a while. Let me just kind of do a video. And then it's like for me to track my journey too so I can really see the difference um, or the progression in my lock journey. So like I said, it's been 42 months. Well, three years and six months. Um, and there has really been no change. Um, the thing my loctician tells me a lot is that my locks grow outside of my my hair. So when my hair grows, like my loose hair grows outside of my lock. So my locks will never have like a super, like that cylindrical, like a cylinder like look. Those super neat looking locks, I will always have a frizzy look, which I don't mind at all. My hair is just naturally frizzy and so I'm cool with that. But you can kind of see what she's talking about, like especially like in the front. Cause I haven't had a retie since, it's been over a month since my last retie. So you can kind of see um, where like some of the frizziness or like how my hair grows out. So I just kind of push it back and that's fine. Um, as far as washing my hair, I wash my hair the day before I get it retightened. So I get my hair retightened every six to eight weeks. So I wash my hair uh, during that time. Um, I usually wash it the day before so that my loctician doesn't have to do it. And it was so funny because I use Cantu now. I used to use um, the Cream of Nature Moroccan stuff, but I went back to Cantu and she doesn't like Cantu. So I didn't know that until she was doing my hair. And she was like, do you use Cantu? And I was like, yeah, she's like, I hate Cantu. And so I was like, do you hate the product? Or is she like, it's just everything. I use it on my hair. She used it on her own hair and just hated it. So like now it's just like death to Cantu around her. It's so funny. And so I kind of felt bad because you could smell like the tropical smell of Cantu. And I love the smell of Cantu um, products. So I was like, oh my goodness. Okay. I said, well, I will um, uh, not use it anymore you know like i'll go back to my other she was like no do, do work do what works for you but she uses design essentials and the reason i don't get my hair washed and it's not that i don't think she can wash hair well or anything it's like i don't like my hair dripping wet and like once she washes it it's just dripping wet so it's just very uncomfortable for me for my hair to just be dripping and water just dripping on my shirt i mean when she has i have a cape on but just I feel like I have to constantly wipe my face. So I feel like if I wash my hair at home the day before or even the day of if I have an afternoon appointment that I can have still have damp hair that's not soaking and dripping wet. So it's just a personal thing. It's not anything that I don't want to pay an extra $10 or she doesn't wash well. Um, one thing that really irritates me too about my hair, well locks, is just the build up. And I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's like uh, build up on my, on my ends. And I guess that's just part of locks. Um, you can also see where like my hair is turning back or the dye. I dye my hair um, jet black because I bleached the front of my locks. You can kind of see where it's coming back in. My loctician told me um, that that's just natural um, and that it'll probably just peek through on some of the locks. I think I'm just gonna get another, i um, gonna go back and buy the Dark and Lovely and redye my hair jet black. So those are like the major updates. I wash my hair once a month, gonna redye my hair. Com combining my locks, my loctician was like, now you went through all of this because you wanted sister locks. And now you have micro locks. Why would you want to make your locks thicker? And I'm just like, I don't do anything to my hair. Like either my hair is like this or it's up in the ponytail. Like I don't do um, my hair at all. And so I was like, well, I could just combine them and it'll just be, I guess, easier. I'm thinking it'll be easier to style. And she's like, the thickness of your hair is the thickness of your hair. So if it's combined or if they're skinny, it doesn't take away the thickness. 
So I didn't think about that logic. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. So um, I am thinking about cutting my locks though. So not combining them anymore, but cutting, cause she did make a good point. She was just like, I mean, it takes you, for me to get my hair interlocked, I'm not gonna get my lock, my lock retightening. It's like an hour and some change. It used to be a solid hour or less. Now it takes about an hour and a half. Um, again, because my hair grows out of my locks, so she has to um, put the parts back in and things like that. And she doesn't mind it or whatever. But um, she was telling me that to combine them, she's like, your issue is a thickness issue. It's not, you know, a styling issue. I can't, I guess it's just because my hair is thick. So I was thinking if they were combined, I could style them easily. She was just like, no, it's gonna be the same thing. Um, it's just gonna be, they're gonna be thicker locks. So I just wanna get them cut now after she made that point that made me think like, hmm, that is true. So I'm just gonna, I wanna get them cut. Maybe like a bob. But then I'm thinking, what if I'm gonna put them in a ponytail and they're too short? So I don't, at this point, I don't know what I wanna do. I still love having my locks. I still love getting up, having the freedom, don't have to buy a lot of products. Again, I wash my hair once a month. And when I wash them, I, you know, do a spray conditioner and then I do um, oil. And that's it. Throughout the month, I don't oil them. I don't do any, like when I say I do nothing to my hair, if I put a bonnet on, I'm doing good. So it's like I love that part of locks, still having their hair freedom. But I, I do want to style them sometimes. So she told me, <clears throat> my optician told me so when I when I book my retightenings to add a style on. And then that way she'll have more time to just do like a simple style or stuff like that. Um, retightenings hurt. Um, and they pull, it's it's. I feel tender headed and she basically told me, like I said in other videos, is because I don't style my hair a lot. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably re-dye my hair sometime this summer. Um, and it's just gonna be all black. I might do like one or two locks a different color. Not one or two, but just, you know how sometimes you'll have like that pop of color. I just don't know what color I want. Like a cranberry red or like a, um, burnt orange color or something like that but i'm not really sure but for now it's just going to be jet black just so these tips um can just be redyed and things like that but that's it um comment and tell me what color i should get if i did want to choose like a highlight color would be a good color um and should i cut my hair or not because I don't want to be in a position where I can't um, style it. So, um, yeah. Oh, and I'll do, I'll show the length of it. Just give me a second. Okay, so this is my hair down. Um, and so this is the length of it. And it was so funny because um, my daughter, I guess you could say it touches like right by my shoulder blade. Like, I don't know. My daughter was like, when she was riding the passenger seat of the car, she was like, dang, my your hair long? I didn't know your hair was that long. And I think she never notices it because like I said, I never wear my hair down. And um, it's always up in a ponytail. But I think that's causing my locks to thin too. Um, and I remember I wore my hair down. We were doing a Zoom call for work. Um, Cause I work in the school, so on Fridays we have a synchronous day where we we get to work from home, and the children learn asynchronously, which means there's no live instruction. So we have meetings, and so I was on the call, and my hair was down, and people were texting me like, "Did you change your hair, or did you put like ex lock lock extensions?" And I was like, "No, my hair is just down." So I think because people never see my hair down, they think I have extensions. But again. I can't wear my hair down because as soon as you look down or, you know, it's just in your face. So, um, that's it. This is just the length of my hair. It has, I guess it has grown. I guess when I see it like this, it has grown, but you can still see those locks that still have that color peeking through. Um, so yeah, that's it. So again, let me know what color I should do for like a highlight color. And it's not going to be a lot, just a few locks here or there with that color, but majority black. Um, 
should I cut my hair? I really want to, but then I'm afraid that, like I said, I won't be able to put it up in a ponytail or I'll be forced to wear it down, which shouldn't be bad because it'll be shorter. So yeah, that's it. All right, well, I'll see you guys or talk to you guys in like eight months. No, I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, have a blessed one. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there.